I got this, Linus. This is gonna be the case. All right, the, this is the take. Hey everyone, my name's Jace. I'm a community manager at Coffee Stain Studios, and today I'm gonna be showing off some new UI changes that are coming, and in doing so, I'm actually also gonna be demonstrating the new uh, resource well pressurizer and extractors as well. So you're gonna see how that whole thing works. You'll see their UI, and you'll see a whole bunch of other UI changes that are coming to update four as well. So I thought this is gonna be pretty cool. So we can just jump straight into it. I have a little test level here. Um, you can see this is the um, resource well over here. I've got some pipes all set up, ready to go for how I wanna demonstrate things. Uh, you can see a bunch of other buildings over here and the, in the awesome shop. So I'm gonna get to that in a moment. The first thing I'll show off though, is that we've added a new little quality of life feature to the codex, or specifically actually the build menu. So like if I go to uh, the build menu here, I can right click on this and I can go open in codex. So this is a nice little thing. It opens up that selected thing in the codex. Um, you can also go to these recipe, uh, these parts here, you can right click on them and go open in codex and drill down to whatever it is you need to need to find. So it's a really nice quality of life feature there. You might have also seen I got a little cheat square here. You know what? That's for me and not for you, okay? I, I'm not a cheater, you're a cheater. Okay, so let's go. Uh, we'll leave the uh, resource well for last. So let's move on over here first of all. Okay, so we're just gonna start off with the shop for, for now. Now we wanted to update it a little bit to make it feel more like an online shop that we're all familiar with, uh, especially these days in COVID, uh, we do a lot more shopping online. So we, we wanted to make it feel a little bit more like that. So we had some ideas for that. And here's a mock-up of one of them. Um, so we thought like the, the whole idea of uh, other other pioneers bought, bought just kind of like suggesting other items could be really good. So this is one mock-up. Um, here's another one here. Some featured items that we could select, you know, just to, to prompt people to buy some new things. There's the uh, Steam controllers there for reasons unknown to mankind. We also had this idea of uh, having players be able to like leave reviews and stuff like that, which is super fun. And I think people would, would find that really fun, but it didn't really make sense with, with the game itself. Uh, so we decided not to go down that route. Um, here's some more uh, uh, little advertisements here to, to, to prompt you to go and uh, continue buying more things. So we, we figured that kind of approach would be really interesting. Here's another design here. Resembles a little bit more like the build menu that we are more familiar with. But ultimately what we arrived at is something that's still quite similar to what we already have, but uh, with some improvements, okay? So, uh, you know, I've unlocked sort of everything because on, I'm on my my cheat account here. Uh, but, you know, you can select an item and it comes up with a description as well as recommended items. You can favorite your items if you want. You can add them to your cart. You know, we can go to statues. We can see what we've got here. I could favorite these. You know, I want to buy these. I can add them directly to cart from here. You can check your favorited items over here as well. See if there's, yep, you know, check out some other statues that we may have. So that kind of thing. The cart has been updated a little bit as well. So you can see uh, the changes there. And I have a lot of coupons, you guys. So, uh, there we are. Very cool. So that's the new uh, shop design. So the next thing that I'm going to move on to is uh, just sort of production UI changes in general. And I'll first demonstrate it here with the smelter. You may be asking, but Jace, what are those big cubes over there? They're our internal like cheat blocks. They just spawn whatever we want. Uh, yeah. So they're they're our special little cheats. Okay. So this UI has changed, as you can uh, as you can see. The main difference here is that essentially we wanted to to really separate the input and output a little more. So you've got this thing in the middle here, what you're creating, and then you've got your output over on the other side. And we just want it to be really clear what is input and what is output. And this makes that much clearer. And you know, that was never really a huge issue when it was just one, one input, one output. But for example, when we have multiple outputs, this really starts to separate them to make it much clearer what's what, basically. It was a little bit cramped and a little bit messy before we felt. So that's what we're going along with here. The other thing that I wanna show is there's actually new UI for each production uh, building. So you can see, look down here. Look, it's got a custom design. It's different to the manufacturer. See, look, see, this has got a different design, right? And different design. So a nice little touch. Each production building now has their own little feel to them as well. So that's pretty cool too. Okay, so, but you know what? I'm gonna show one more to you guys that I think it looks really cool. I like it, but it's, it's an unreleased building. So I don't know if I'm allowed to do this. I don't know if this is gonna make it to the video. Don't tell anyone. I'm gonna show you a new one. Check it out. All right, so check it out, you guys. It's blue, it's blue. I like it, it looks really cool. I like it. It just looks really cool. Wonder what it is, who knows? Uh, I hope they let me put this in the video because it's really cool. 
Okay, so we've also updated the power UI as well, but also like things like generators have gotten a facelift. Um, so you can see that this is now looking a little bit more in line with what the new production UI uh, design looks like. Um, another thing that we've added, which you can't see right now because these are all flat lines. So I'm just gonna disconnect and reconnect this a little bit. Okay, leave it for a second. Okay. So you can see there's the dips here and uh, you know you can hover over each of these it's going to highlight which piece of data that you're you're looking at you can also show and hide certain things so you can just have one thing on or to your heart's content. So a nice little quality of life update there as well for those uh, interested in that kind of thing. Okay, so last but not least, we are gonna go look at the resource well now. So let's check out the resource well. First of all, we can take a look at the well itself. I'll give you guys a nice look. This is the well, this is nitrogen gas well, you guys. And then there are these little satellite nodes, they're called, all right? And so we wanna, we wanna get the gas out of these nodes. So what we need to do to activate the uh, satellite node so that we can extract the nitrogen gas is we need to build the pressurizer on the, the main node first. So we'll equip the uh, pressurizer, we'll plop that on there. It needs some power before it actually starts uh, pressurizing stuff to come out of these uh, satellite nodes. So if I'll uh, just hook that up real quick. All right, so it's uh, it's gearing up, it's doing its thing. And the you can see now the satellite nodes on the outside, they're all, um, you know, gassing up. Just so you guys know, this is still work in progress. Like some of these VFX aren't done. They might change, more might be added. There's still a lot of visual polish um, still to come. So this is just work in progress, but you'll see how this works. So it's uh, slamming away and these nodes are uh, ready to be extracted upon from. So let's equip a resource well extractor. I'll point this one towards that pipe there. We can point this towards those pipes. Now I'm just placing them all down. Cool. Um, and now we'll just hook them up. Cool, they're hooked up. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the UI here, guys. This is the uh, resource well pressurizer. So you can see that, yeah, there's some statistics for it. Whether or not these are the final numbers, you guys, that may change in the future, just take it with a grain of salt. I'm just showing it off for now. Okay, but, um, and you can see that all the extractors are connected as well. So if I, if I were to delete one of these extractors, you can see that it's like four out of five are connected, right? And then I can just rebuild the extractor, connect the pipe, and then it says five out of five again. So this is sort of what it looks like, the UI for the pressurizer. Now the extractors also have, you know, they're obviously they've got their own UI and this is kind of what that looks like. Yep, you can see what it's doing. Now something interesting, something worthwhile that I'd like to mention here is you'll notice that I can overclock the pressurizer, but I can't overclock the extractors. And that's because it, it kind of works, they work together. So if you overclock the pressurizer, it overclocks all of the extractors. Now this is going, <laughs> it's trying really hard, you guys. So now it's uh, pumping a lot more nitrogen gas out. So uh, overclocking these bad boys are really worthwhile. One more and the final sort of UI update is gases uh, in pipes. So, you know, the, the fluids would display fluids here in, uh, in the UI thing. And this is what the gas looks like when there's gonna be gas in the pipes. So that's a little change there as well for, for the UI. Alrighty, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was interesting. A nice look at the uh, new UI stuff that's coming in and a little demo of the resource well pressurizer and extractors, that whole system and how that works. And gases in the pipes. Looks pretty cool, huh? Looks cool. So uh, if you enjoyed it, I don't know if you like these kind of things, but if you did, please leave a like, comment down below, <laughs> give us the old thanks, Jace helps a lot. We'll bring that back for this video. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week on Tuesday with streams and uh, next Friday with another video. Take care, everybody. Hope you have a good weekend. Bye, everybody. Okay, so uh, there's also, so, so, um, wait.